Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA board and today we're taking a look at the Game Boy Advance core. And spoiler alert, I will say this is my absolute favorite core that I have checked out on the Mr. Before we get to Fire and Lava, you give me a huge favor, go down below and hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, it definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. But I absolutely love the Game Boy Advance, and why I love this core the most is I feel like the graphics are so good on the Game Boy Advance for what it did that none of the screens on the hardware, the original or the SP, do the artwork justice. Where Mr. on HDMI or analog look absolutely outstanding, it is definitely now my favorite way to play these games. And we do get a lot of options as far as what we want them to look like. If we go into video and audio, one that I do recommend is the 2x resolution. I set that to both, and it's going to give a little bit of a resolution bump to both the background layer and the sprites. We have so many different options in here, but that's the only one that I toggle on, and I feel like that's as accurate as I need it to be as far as what the games are supposed to look like. But there's different options in there. You can certainly play around with them and see what you like better. But I do recommend that 2x resolution bump to both the background layer and the sprites. And taking a look here, you will see that the image doesn't fill the screen. That's what it looks like when it's scaled properly. And in a moment, I will actually expand that in the editing system. So this isn't what you're going to see on your TV, but you can expand it when you're editing. It makes it look easier. But the Game Boy Advance just looks spectacular. This is like a Super Nintendo duct taped to another Super Nintendo. When they talk about the Sega Saturn being a 2D powerhouse that had 3D added to it, Game Boy Advance feels like what Nintendo would have done if they decided not to have 3D in the Nintendo 64. And in some ways, I do love the Nintendo 64, but I wish they'd actually just release this as a home console, maybe bump the power up 50%. Now I will recommend right off the top, what you need to do is remember to always turn on the autosave feature because so many of the Game Boy Advance games can save on the cartridge, but if we don't turn on autosave and back up that you know, storage RAM on the cartridge, you know, virtually, you're gonna lose your game. You'll see here I have my game saved. What you need to do is go into the core menu and then you can reload your backup RAM. If you leave autosave on, every time you push the home button to get into the Mr. Core, it will save for you. That way you can't lose anything. If you do it manually, just remember to make sure you do it all the time. But if you put autosave on, you can't make a mistake and lose an hour and a half, two hours worth of progress. Because I beat Aria of Sorrow the whole way playing on the Mister. It was an absolutely outstanding experience. It's the best way I've ever played the game before. It looks great, it sounds great, and it of course takes, you know, 10, 12 hours. And if I had played for four hours in one sitting and forgot to back up that RAM, I would have been heartbroken because I would have had to start right from scratch. But moving right over to Drill Dozer with this animated orange and yellow screen here, I just love the color vibrancy on Game Boy Advance games. The artwork, the color palette, the graphics that the Game Boy Advance were able to put up, they just look incredible. And not that there's anything wrong with a Game Boy or a Game Boy Advance SP, but the screen is just too small to be able to truly appreciate all the artwork and frames of animation that went into a lot of these games. So being able to play this on my couch on a 70 inch 4K OLED is just a fun and new way to play it. And don't get me wrong, I love my original hardware. I've always enjoyed collecting consoles and handhelds and I'm never gonna get rid of my Game Boy Advance. But this is a preferred way for me to play when I'm at home because seeing these games in 70 inches on my television and being able to see all the crisp pixel artwork, all the frames of animation, all the nice colors at that scale is just absolutely incredible and it makes playing a lot of these games feel brand new because I'm seeing details that I never saw back in the day. Because you'll see here in Sonic Advance, it's a quite good series if you've never played it, check it out, it's a lot better than the game Sega was making for Sonic around the same time. The sky is so blue, the grass is nice and shaded green, you know, the browns kind of go from, you know, kind of a dusty brown to a dark brown. Everything looks exactly how you would expect it to for a Sonic game, and if you compare it to original hardware, a lot of the fine detail just doesn't show up on the screen. Now there are ways to get this type of video quality out of a Game Boy Advance. There's a consolization kit that I've almost bought a few times now. It does require soldering and you do have to be pretty advanced dealing with electronics and it is quite expensive. I would still do it because I love original hardware. If you're not into modifying systems, would I recommend it for you? Probably not. I would definitely play the Mr. over modifying original hardware and it's great that Mr. gives us those options so we don't have to buy expensive mods and work on them. But taking a look at Mega Man Zero, I love the intro to this game because it just shows us how powerful the Game Boy Advance was and the things it could do that I feel like the Super Nintendo couldn't. 
we have all these sprites on screen at once and a lot of the sprites are quite large but then we get these almost fmv looking cutscenes that come in but you'll see as these sprites roll across the screen they're massive and look just so incredible but as good as the Game Boy Advance looks, it also sounds really nice too. So enjoy about 30 seconds of Mega Man Zero, and then I'll come back and tell you why you should be playing Game Boy Advance on this core. And if you've never played a Game Boy Advance, why you should start doing it today. Be right back. I will say that the Game Boy Advance has been never known to have the best audio quality, but Mr. is going to give you the best version of what you can get audio-wise out of the hardware. But taking a look at the sprite on the right here, when you're playing this on an original Game Boy Advance, it doesn't have the same effect as far as scale is concerned because the screen is so small. But when you're playing this on a 70-inch TV, it looks massive because it is massive. But another great benefit is you can play import games and you can play fan translations and patches of things like Mother 3 because this never came out in North America with an official translation. Now you can totally do this on original hardware too if you have a flash card, but on Mr. it's even easier. I'm not going to show you much about Mother 3, it'll be coming up on the channel this fall, but it's an absolutely amazing RPG and being able to play it on the Mr. on my TV on the couch was a great experience. I replayed about half this game so far just because I wanted to see it that large because I hate bringing my computer out to the living room and dealing with software emulation in that respect. So it's another plus for the Mr. It's so small I can carry it back and forth in my office to my living room and it takes about 10 seconds. But taking a look at Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, all those giant sprites and all the color in them running by, I think this looks outstanding, and that's a lot of the reason why this is my favorite core. One, I'm definitely impartial. I love Game Boy Advance games. I had one when it came out. I still have that original Game Boy Advance, and I've collected an SP that I've modded as well, and I've got a ton of games for the platform. It just felt like an extension of the Super Nintendo, and I've always enjoyed it. And being able to play it on Mr. is a great experience. And if you've never played Game Boy Advance and you have a Mr., you 100% owe it to yourself to start checking out the library because there are some absolutely incredible games from Nintendo and from third parties. And if you do have a Game Boy Advance but you find that you don't play it as much because you don't have a ton of time to play handhelds, then this is another excellent way to check it out because maybe you'll play more Game Boy Advance games if you're sitting on your couch because there's so many incredible experiences like we're showing you here. There's so many different genres. The library for the Game Boy Advance is quite deep and if you start looking at, you know, googling things like Game Boy Advance Hidden Gems, you're going to find a lot of games that you may really like to play that you've never heard of before. Puzzle games, racing games, things such as that. And that's what's so great about this system is that it allows you to quickly check out things that you may never heard of before. So we're going to check out now, and I'm going to mispronounce it, Kuru Kuru Kururin is just a really fun get the stick through the maze game. If you've ever played Operation, if you've ever played the ring game at your local fair when you were a kid, it's the exact same concept. And if you just look at a screenshot of this game, it might not seem like you want to check it out, but with Mr. it's so easy to play it. And I love playing this game, especially when I just need like 10 minutes of mindless fun. There's so many things on the Game Boy Advance that you can play and check out that you may never heard of before. And I kind of feel like this video is actually turning into a review of the Game Boy Advance not of the Mr. Core, but that's just how much I love the hardware. There's so many fun things to play on it, and honestly, playing on the Mr. is a revelatory experience because it just allows you to see so much more detail in the art, because all the art on Game Boy Advance games, the ones that look good at least, is outstanding and so much of that is lost on a really tiny screen. So for me, if I'm at home and I don't have any reason to have to take a handhold with me, I would 100% elect to play Game Boy Advance games on my Mr. versus the original hardware. Now, of course, if I'm traveling, I'm going on a plane and I don't feel like taking my Switch with me because it is portable, but it's not the smallest system, then of course I'm definitely gonna take my handhelds. But short of that, that is my review and guide for the Game Boy Advance Core. It is my favorite core on the platform. It is flawless. I wasn't able to find a single bug playing this the entire time. It just works. You put the ROMs in, you play them, it's easy to go. But short of that, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. Do you enjoy Game Boy Advance games? You tell me. I'll be back next Tuesday with another video in the Mr. Series on videos throughout the week. But I don't know why. I missed that putt. I got a bogey and that really irritated me. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.